turn it around, let it pop in. See like that. Okay, so we're going back together. But I thought what we'd do before I put this end casing on, this one, we'll have a look at it, see what it's all about. Because <clears throat> this is the fabled fifth gear with the oil pump. Now I don't know many gearboxes that have oil pumps on them, other than sort of race car things. And that's really to do with um, cooling of the oil, more, you know, to circulate it. It's not, not normally to do with um, any pressure feed. So I thought we'd have a look at it and see what it does, find out a bit more about it. Okay, so our gearbox is upside down. That's how I've got it set up because that's how I have to work on it through the sump. So you have that lovely thin sump goes on the bottom there, which will cool the oil, as we know. That's what these cooling fins are for. So that's our sump it goes on there like that. So it is what it is. It's going to carry the oil, isn't it? Now the oil level on this gearbox is the same as any old gearbox. You bring it up to a level there, don't you? So you top it up to here. So that will be full of oil up to that level there, won't it? That's where the oil level will be. Then through here, through the gear set and so on, wouldn't it? Go to that level, wouldn't it? But let's have a look. What have we got? So we haven't got much between here. We've got that one, haven't we? So we've got this hole here, that one there, that one there. I'm not sure about that. I think that's where a bolt goes, isn't it? So you've got a bolt going through there and a bolt going through there. And well, that's a dowel. So these are clearly oil passages, aren't they? So let's have a look at it, see what we got. Ah, right. So does it become more apparent? It does. We've got an oil, that oil gallery there, that oil hole there links up with that, which goes with that, doesn't it? And that goes with that, doesn't it? So the oil's going to be in here, and then it's going to be drawn through there, through that one, and through that one through here, into this part of the gearbox. That's just a dowel, so nothing goes there. It doesn't go all the way through that. And that's another bolt goes through there. So that's those two. Those two go through there and there. That's where the dowel goes. And that's that one. And here, this goes through to the pump by the looks of it. And that one is going to be that one there, isn't it? Right. So it looks to me like it's all about this bit here and that. There. Okay, let's have a look at it then. Let's have a look at our housing. Let's flip it back round and look at the back of it. Right, we're upside down at the minute. That's where the gear stick goes in. So that's where our output shaft comes out there, which is that bit. And we got an oil filter system goes in there, our strainer, and the oil pump itself goes there. Now that oil pump is driven through this dog drive here. So let's have a look at that. There's the drive. So that drives our oil pump off of there. And this is gear driven, isn't it? So it'll be, it'll be driven off that one. So those two will drive like that. The dog drive drives one and then the other one drives the other one like cogs, doesn't it? And that's how it disperses the oil, how it moves the oil around. So that's that, that's how that works. So, which one's the drive and which one's the idler? Well, the centre one's the drive, isn't it? That centre one there is the drive. So that's your drive, isn't it? That one there. And that's the idler gear. 
So, how's this work? We have got the oil coming into it, haven't we? So the oil comes into the pump through there. So it goes through there. Can we see that hole? Goes all the way up to the pump at the end there, doesn't it? So reverse that. That's going all the way there to there. You see it goes through that channel there into here. Into this area comes out there. And that there is your filter. Then from the filter, it's got to get into the pump, hasn't it? So it's going to come via there, that dreading there. It's going to come up into here through the filter and then out through that bit there. And then that bit, that hole there, there, it's going to go into the pump. See that? There. You see there? There's the other end of it there. See? And shine a light at the bottom of there and you'll see it. There you go. So it comes up into the pump. So it enters the pump here. It goes around the pump and then goes out through there. And that one goes, that drilling goes where? Up to this bit here, into here. See? So you remember that's our drive in the middle of there. That's where that bearing sits there. So that bearing sits there, drive goes onto there. Then this bearing is that one there. So in this area here is that, and then that speedo drive all passes through here. So that bearing sits in there and that goes there. So that there is where the oil comes up, isn't it? Into that area. So the oil goes into there. Now that drilling, if we look, is opposite that one. Can we see it? There. So, can we light that up? There you go, I'm lighting it up. See? See it? So that goes up to there. So they all comes up to here, to this uh, area here. And then it goes round that lot. That's going to be in that area there, in here. It's all going to be pressure from the oil pump. And then it's going to squeeze through the bearing, come out through here, and come out through there. So that one there, all that's there, is going to get shot out through here onto your fifth gear drive, which is what they say, it's for oiling your fifth gear, isn't it? So it goes onto there, so it'll shoot out onto there. And then through here, this is what this, this is the bit that sits in the middle there, isn't it, that bit? So that bit is sitting there in the middle of this. So it's going to go around this area here. There's a, there's a clearance there and that, and there's enough clearance here that it doesn't rub on the casing. So it's going to force it into there, and force it over the top of there, through that piece there, into, into there, isn't it? So that's what's going to happen. And it's going to splash everywhere, over everything. But we've also got this drilling here. Now that drilling there is where the oil pressure relief valve sits which is that, that's your oil pressure relief valve. So it all come up to there and it will dislodge that little ball bearing in there. And it'll dislodge that when there's too much pressure and it'll squirt out through the, through the sides here and then just go back into there if need be. So that explains that. And then you've got this drilling in the side here, it goes into that area. So what's that for? What is that? Light that up. Yeah, you see? There's a drilling there. Yeah. Well, that one has a bung in it. There's that bung in it. Now, I would assume that bung is so that you can fit some sort of pressure gauge onto there to test it. I can't see any other reason for it, but I can't see a gauge in the manual to see that. 
that's where your speedo drive goes in, into that bit. That's our speedo drive. So our speedo drive goes there and it will face forwards like that. So in situ, that's going to sit something like that. And that's what those skew gears do is, is drive it, you see. And then that goes off there, goes off to your cable, doesn't it? And up to your speedo in the dashboard. So that's a very, very brief look at the oil pump and what it does and how it's different. So it must be to do with this clearance round here. Yeah, the pressure build up. So of course there's pressure in there. Well, it's going to come backwards onto this bearing, isn't it? And then you've got an oil seal in here. But it looks like this cutaway allows any excess to go back forwards. And again, that cutaway there allows it to go back forwards. So it can go underneath that area and go forwards into below in this area, can't it? So it can go there. Let's, let's put a light in there and see if that, you see it all lights up. See? So excess oil can come that way, can't it? And then go back down into the, into the lower part of this, which is effectively the sump, and then return to the main part of the gearbox and the oil sump, which is this, which is, which is cooled, which means that as well as oiling the fifth gear and the bearings with a degree of pressure, where it'll be pressure on these, but then a spray onto those, it also means that oil is being circulated constantly through the gearbox. So you're not just relying on the splash of the gears, which is on most gearboxes, they rely just on the, the oil being dipped into here. Do you remember what, what level our oil's at? That's our oil level there. So it'll be about here, won't it? So it just relies on it splashing around everything. Well, this one still has it splashing around everything, to you know, but it also is being circulated via that pump which will keep, you know, create a degree of cooling. So next thing, we'll have a look at the filter system, which is this, this is our filter system. So that's what you get. So when you take them end covers off at the back of here, so one's a filter and one's the drive for the pump, isn't it? So your filter actually goes down in here. So what that does, is you've got a strainer there, see a strainer? And then it's got a reinforcing on it as well, which is why it's got the bigger strainers. So the oil gets forced through that, doesn't it? And that goes in that way. That goes in that way up into there. And then the spring pushes it down. But what we've also got is in there, you've got a magnet in that bit there, you see? So that goes together there. And then there's like a sort of O-ring that goes together, holds that together. And that goes in there and that forces down into that hole so we can see from here how it works so it, it comes up and goes through here goes enters it through there enters into here then goes through all that and then squishes out the outside and then goes through into the pump so that's how it works and of course you know that'll probably be that level if we look at the heights of that the heights of this is going to put us low anyway, isn't it? So there's going to be a degree of oil just sitting in this, this area of this sump, effectively. So there's going to be oil there, and there's going to be oil sat in that strainer anyway, just through, through effectively gravity and how it sit there, the level. Okay. Do you want to just sort all that again? Or can you remember? I think that'll be a separate video, how the oil pump works. Let's just assemble this little oil strainer. So there's your strainer, there's your magnet goes in the end. And this is all held together with this little um, O-ringy thing, which is a little bit damaged, but it's sort of distorted, not, you know, is the word. But anyway, I should be able to use, reuse it. I don't think it's gonna matter for what we're doing. I think we'll get away with that. Well, not trying to get away with things, it just literally, I haven't got one. And uh, I reckon it'll be all right. I don't think it'll give us any trouble. So 
And what we're going to do is get that to sit down where it needs to, in the bit where it sits, down in there, and then we have the spring to push down on it. So I might put a bit of grease around this because it's easy, you know, just to get it to slip in there a bit nicer. It should be all right. Yeah, it'll be all right. And that's got to go down into there, isn't it? Let's see if we can get that to sit down in there. We'll have to tuck that down in there with something. I need a screwdriver for that. So I tuck that little seal in and that spring holds it in place. And that lot pops it down, you know, that forces it in place like that. But we have a little gasket to go on there first. And I'll sort that out. Then we fit the oil pump. So we should be able to see the drive moving around in there. Let's see if we can get to that. There you go. That's it. So that's what drives it, isn't it? That peg that we're on about. And that dog drive. There you see. Apologies for shaky camera. But yeah. So you can see. See, it wouldn't go in there, but turn it around and it'll pop in. See, like that. Okay, get the idea. And then that will drive the idler, won't it? Now obviously I want a bit of oil on these really, but just for the purposes of showing you what I do, how they work. See? So what we're we saying, it's saying it's come up through here, isn't it? And into the into the pump here, through there. Then all enters this void here, and then it'll be driven round here like that. And then into this void and out through there. So again, it'll go through there like that. And then driven up there. Yeah, so it comes from the pump, doesn't it? Sorry, it comes to the pump via the oil filter. So it's coming through there, like that, and then it'll go around there, like that, and out there. And that's how it works. And this is an oil seal, or an O-ring to become an oil seal. Like that. And that's what seals it. Like that. You can see where, the, where they've been running on that face. But that's normal, that wasn't a problem. You can see the height, and there needs to be a difference in the height on here and there. 
So you can get a gasket for a perimeter, but I don't think it needs it. And that will create too much inflow on them. I'm going to check the parts book on this gasket situation to be doubly sure. Any other thing that's worth mentioning is this. So this damage is where the old gearbox mount must have collapsed and it rubbed on the um, cross member bit, as it were, on the steel bit. But this can happen. Uh, for a long time, they weren't available, them mounts, but it's not gonna cause it any harm. I'm not gonna worry about that. But also, you know, we've got a little drainer here, separate drainer here for that sump which we can see why we got that, because the transfer, what do we say? That's our transfer port there, isn't it? Down in there. So that's not gonna drain out there into there, is it? And what did I say? This is upside down, isn't it? Remember that. Oil pressure relief valve. Pump gears, filter, and strainer, and magnet, and the o ring that holds it together, and the spring that retains it, gasket, the end plate, and then o ring for the pump. There we go, and the drive gear plate. So there we are. That's what it is, isn't it? So no. Gasket required. Obviously that would alter the end float, the drive gears, which you know might be um could be useful, but I don't think it is. And that's the chap that makes the best roast potatoes. <laughs> <laughs>